Hello guys, my name is Amir from Ijo Academy. Today we are going to see uh, how to use uh, our calculator to understand and comprehend the concepts of wavelength, uh, period, and frequency of a wave. Uh, in nature, we have different forms of waves like uh, water surface of a pool or lake, uh, electromagnetic waves, or oscillation of an undamped spring mass system. Uh, but uh, the most uh, basic and the simplest form of a wave is a sinusoidal wave, uh, where we have a constant speed. So we consider uh, here in this video a simple sinusoidal wave, with constant speed. And uh, we want to use our calculator uh, to see how wavelength and period or frequency are uh, defined uh, for a sinusoidal wave. Okay, uh, this is my uh, scientific calculator. I'm using hyper scientific calculator, definitely any other scientific calculator uh, capable of uh, drawing graphs uh, can be used. So, for example, consider the simple trigonometric uh, sine x function. So, sine x. So, we use x variable here, and then we see the a graph of a sine sine uh, function or sinusoidal wave. Uh, here, as you see, this length, if we consider that uh, x is in distance. Uh, with the unit of meter. So this length is called lambda or wavelength. Why? Because uh, as you see, uh, let me just use highlight function. As you see the wave starts here goes up and then goes down and then oscillates to its starting point. So this point and this point, they have the same uh, oscillatory uh, situation. So this is defined as a wavelength. Uh, and this is sine x, the function is sine x. And the wavelength is 2 pi. So you see that uh, how the wavelength is defined. Okay, consider another uh, function. So if we define sine 2x, You see that the wavelength has changed. Uh, for this function, here and up to here, this is the wavelength, lambda. And here the difference with, between this function and the previous one is the coefficient 2. So we consider this general formula, lambda equals 2 pi over that coefficient, which we can be considered as alpha. So here alpha is 2, so lambda is 2 pi over 2 equals pi. So as you can see, here is 3.14. 
almost in the graph. So uh, it is seen that the wavelength is equal to pi. So since we increase the coefficient here, the wavelength decreased. Consider another one, another example. Let's put the coefficient of 0 0.5. Then, yeah, we see that the wavelength increased. So the wavelength is this much. So the coefficient is 0.5. Going back to our formula, alpha is 0.5. So it's going to be 4 pi. is this point which is like 12 point something so the wavelength is 4 pi as we see if the coefficient uh, is less than 1 like in this case the wavelength increases if the coefficient is greater than 1 like 2 or 3 the wavelength decreases so here we uh, assume that the x-axis is a distance with a unit of meter. But uh, if it's in second in time, the x-axis is in second, uh, the wavelength is changed to period. Uh, in other words, wavelength is a spatial, a spatial period. Uh, so here we see how they are correlated. Uh, let's consider another example. A little more complicated. Consider 2 times x divided by pi. Yeah, uh, the wavelength changed again. It's from here up to here. Lambda. So according to our equation, 2 pi over alpha is the definition of wavelength. Uh, here, alpha is the denominator 2 over pi so it is pi squared it's like 9.8 something like that as we see here 9.8 so it's pi squared so it's wavelength uh, for this sinusoidal function Okay, let's go back to our first example, the simple sinusoidal function, sine x. So, uh, we use the concepts of uh, wavelength and period interchangeably. Uh, whenever we have x-axis in terms of distance, uh, Uh, with the unit of like meter in metric system, we have wavelength. And whenever we have x-axis in terms of time with, with a unit of second, we have period. But they are the same. Uh, the wavelength uh, is defined as lambda equals 2 pi over alpha, 
which is in this case for sine x alpha is 1 so the uh, wavelength is simply 2 pi and uh, if it's in the x-axis in is in terms of time uh, we use the concept of period with capital T equals 2 pi over alpha uh, which is 2 pi for sine x and the concept of frequency is uh, similar frequency is the inverse of period which is cycle per second or hertz uh, for its unit uh, so you can see you consider this equation or this equation for period and uh, you always simply obtain the wavelength or period of a uh, a simple sinusoidal wave let me just show you another example uh, to emphasize the concept of frequency consider sine 2x okay as you can see uh, as you increase the coefficient if the coefficient is greater than one uh, the wavelength decreases uh, or the frequency uh, increases here this is the wavelength and uh, I already showed you how to obtain uh, the wavelength of this function uh, or even if you increase the coefficient to like 4 you see the frequency again increased or the wavelength or period decreased yes so here we are using our calculator, scientific calculator, and its uh, drawing cap capability to observe and uh, examine the concepts of wavelength, uh, period, or frequency. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope that this video helped you to understand the concepts of a wavelength, uh, frequency, and period. A sinusoidal wave uh, using uh, your scientific calculator uh, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to receive uh, future contents from Ijo Academy uh, thank you and see you later bye